Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general uh, career in money reading for the zodiac sign of Aries. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the month of July 2021. We are going to take a look at your over energy surrounding you for the month for your uh, regarding your career and money. And then we'll take a look to see what you could expect looking forward uh, for the rest of uh, July and onward. Uh, before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know that I am doing another giveaway since I'm getting close to hitting 20,000 subscribers. I would like to choose two winners for a one hour personal reading with me. Uh, the way that you enter this giveaway is by hitting the subscription button, the notification bell, uh, giving this video a thumbs up, leaving a comment in the comment section below with the hashtag 20k. Uh, once I reach 20,000, I will go through all my comments, select two winners, and make that announcement on the community tab. So make sure that you are subscribed to my channel, make sure that the notifications are turned on so that you get notified when I announce the winners. Um, uh, for the winners, if you guys are okay with leaving your uh, email addresses in the comment section below of the posts, uh, you could do that. Uh, if you're uncomfortable with that, you could uh, feel free to email me because I will leave my email address in the post when I make the announcement of the winners on the community. Those of you that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box there. All right, let's get started. Over energies for Aries regarding career and money for July 2021. What is surrounding Aries? What does Aries need to know? What can Aries expect regarding uh, career and money for July 2021? All right, let's see what's going on here, Aries. Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You may have this in your chart here. Uh, two of Swords. The Knight of Swords, Gemini, uh, Libra, um, Aquarius energy, the Ten of Swords. King of Wands, there we are, Aries. And the Queen of Wands. So we have a couple here a pair so this could be in terms of these pairs could be a partnership you know uh a partnership in you know love a partnership in work but i feel like whatever you started here it doesn't seem to be going anywhere it's like you're not making money um yeah, it's becoming a burden. Something is closing out here. So it could be a business or it could be like a workplace. Uh, it could be a workplace where there's like no potential growth. Uh, there is uh, no um, raise uh, at the moment. And I just feel like something is coming to the end of the road here for you, uh, Aries, in, re in regards to your work. Yeah, I feel like there might be some worry uh, and struggle, yeah, some worry and struggle regarding money here. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Six of Wands, the Four of Pentacles, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles here. You're having uh, trouble reaching this. Uh, reaching career success, financial goals here. Um, I don't know, um, Aries, I feel like you might take action and might leave this behind. You just don't feel like you have anything lined up. Maybe you do. Maybe you have been in there. Maybe you have been interviewing around, looking for opportunities, or waiting for word if you're getting these new opportunities here. Um, let's see. All right. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles here.
So I got my COVID vaccine today. Uh, my energy is okay for now. So I'm gonna do a little work. Um, I don't have any personal readings lined up. So I'm just gonna post a series of these uh, of uh, money and career for July. Try and do as much as I can. All right, we have the Knight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So I usually flip this deck. We'll see what, what we get. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. We have the Two of Swords and the Ten of Wands. Whatever environment you're in right now, Aries, I feel like you don't know what's going on. I feel like there's a... I'm feeling like there's a lot of lying here, a lot of deception surrounding your work. Like I said, this could be a business. This could be at a workplace. But not knowing, you're tired of not knowing. You're tired of not knowing what direction your company is going, your business is going. Because, uh, yeah, someone could be taking money too. Tell me about this Knight of uh, Swords. All right, the Magician. Um... Virgo, Gemini energy. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. And the Star. And if some of these, I, as Aries, some of you guys are seeking something more creative, something in the arts or something. It's something where you're creating because whatever you're in right now, it's just sort of, I'm feeling like it's a nine to five. It's really boring. Like nothing's going on. It's the same thing over and over again. I just feel like you're looking for something a little more exciting here. Tell me about the King of Wands. Yeah, I do feel like you are looking for new opportunities. If you haven't started looking, I feel like you should. Uh, if you already started looking, you probably have interviewed at a few places and waiting on word for these new opportunities uh, here. Um, yeah, there's an opportunity. There are opportunities coming your way too, uh, Aries. Tell me about this uh, Queen of Wands. In Six of Pentacles. So if you're coupled up here, Aries, I feel like this Queen of Wands is very generous right now if you're struggling with money. Um, yeah, I, you might be... So where, wherever you're working at right now, I mean, I feel like you're coming to a realization here or that you're having an awakening that this is a toxic work environment. It's not really going anywhere. Uh, I feel like, yeah, I feel like this place or whatever, wh whatever you're doing, it just, there's a lot of confusion here. It could be also that you're putting so much energy into this uh, work that you do, uh, you feel like you're not really getting thing, anything back in return. I mean, your goal is to reach a ton of pentacles. I mean, we're only at a seven right now. So, yeah. All right, we have the Seven of Pentacles being clarified by the Seven of Swords, the Two of Swords being clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords being clarified by the Magician, the Ten of Swords being clarified by the Star. You know, ideally, Aries, I, I feel like you, you're more in this energy of, you know, doing something more exciting. The Nine to Five might be a little boring to you. I'm feeling like this is a Nine to Five thing. I feel like you're bored. I feel like there's this energy of like, this is not going anywhere. Um, I feel like there's like a lot of unknowns. It's not within your control. Um, yeah, I just feel like Aries is more uh, of a entrepreneurial type. I mean, we all have that within us, but um, I, I do feel like uh, Aries is more of a, you know, a boss person. You know, they like to do things on their own time. They don't like to be controlled. I mean, I'm an Aries too, so. I've done the nine to five thing for a very long time, and uh, I must say I, I don't think I've ever followed the rules. <laughs> it's really hard. It's really restricting, you know? It's just so unnatural to be in that sort of work environment for me. I never liked it. Um, King of Swords being clarified by the uh, Page of Pentacles. Queen of Wands being clarified by the Six of Pentacles. All right. What else do you have for Aries regarding uh, career and money? What can Aries expect looking forward uh, for the rest of July and onward regarding career and money for Aries? One more. All right.
right, we have the Hermit here, Virgo Energy. All right, we have the Seven of Swords again. The Seven of Swords keeps showing up here. Okay, we have the Five of Wands. We have the Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces Energy, the Ten of Pentacles. We have Justice, Libra Energy. And we have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces Energy. So, um... You know, I feel like you're gonna have, I feel like you're gonna be presented with an offer of something. So, yeah, we have this page of cups here. There's a message coming your way. I feel like it's gonna be more in line with what you want to do. I do feel like it's gonna be emotionally fulfilling. I do feel like you will reach your 10 of pentacles with this um, new offer here. Yeah, because whatever this is, this offer is going to be really emotionally fulfilling for you. Um, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of conflict. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's this current um, workplace, but I just feel like there's going to be some sort of conflict. I feel like I feel like whoever you're working for or whoever you're working with, I feel like someone is trying to going to try and tempt you to stay by telling you all these things that you want to hear, but they're not going to execute. Um, you know, perhaps increasing your pay, promoting you within, you know, six months. I just feel like it's not going to happen if they tell you something like that. Um, let's get some more messages here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. What's going on with the Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords and the Queen of Cups. Whoever you're working with here, this person has been lying to you about the potential growth, about um, a raise, you know, about promotions, you know, about where the company is going, where the team is going, that sort of thing. Yeah, someone's been lying to you. You could be dealing with the water sign here, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Tell me about this uh, Five of Wands. Right, we have the Seven of Pentacles. And you know what? Yeah, this person... Tell, let's see, tell me about this Page of Cups. We have the Strength card, Leo, Energy. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Ten of... No, the Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about Justice. Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the moon. Six of Swords. Whatever, wherever you're working at right now, I feel like it's unstable. There's a lack of collaboration. I feel like there's a lot of like open communication and transparency. Um, yeah, because I feel like someone here, whoever you're dealing with, this person is lying to you a lot. And I feel like that's what the conflict here, uh, that's where it stems from. Um, I do feel like there's going to be some sort of offer here. I feel like this offer is going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you. You will be reaching your goals of a Ten of Pentacles because this offer has some sort of safety here. Uh, and it's gonna be emotionally fulfilling for you. I feel like you're gonna quietly leave this current place that you're at. You know, Aries, I mean, sometimes you could be funny that way, but you know, I, I yeah. Um, I feel like you're gonna leave without notice here. Sort of like, giving this like queen of cups whoever this person is like a big f you sort of thing uh we have the seven of swords clarifying the uh being clarified by the queen of cups the five of wands being clarified by the seven of pentacles we have the page of cups being clarified by the strength card yeah whatever this is i feel like this is like this offer is going to be really really attractive to you yeah really attractive to you something that you've been looking for like all this time i feel ten of pentacles eight of pentacles 
Justice, Six of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Six of Swords. I feel like there will be a separation in employment here too, for sure. And I feel like you're going to be leave quietly. Yeah. So Aries, this is your um, general career and money reading for July 2021. If this resonated, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.